Hi there, I'm Mr. Euster, and today I'll be reprogramming my Tada 68 mechanical keyboard, which I built in one of my previous videos you can watch here. Now by default, this keyboard comes programmed with two layers of functionality. The main layer containing everything you might expect from a 65% keyboard, so all the letters, all the numbers, the arrow keys, these four extra keys on the side. And if we check the manual for the Tata 68, we can see that by default, the secondary layer functionality gives us access to the F keys, so the F1 through F12, uh, allows us to change volume, allows us to change LED brightness, as well as some other random stuff like letting us move the mouse around and click. What I've noticed is that these secondary functions don't actually line up with what my keycaps say should happen. So on my keycaps, when I try to up and down the volume with say A and S, that doesn't actually happen because right now that's programmed to arrow keys. So in order to reprogram the keyboard so that the correct actions happen on each keystroke, I need to update the bin file. You can think of the bin file as the set of instructions that the keyboard uses to tell the computer what actions should happen when each key is pressed. Now, some keyboard manufacturers will actually provide a unique website that you can just access from your random browser in order to reprogram the PCB. But in 2020, it appears that Tata 68's manufacturer has not kept up supporting this website. So at least when I try to access it, can't get to it. So instead, to customize a bin file that reprograms my keys, what I'm going to be using is a website called QMK Configurator. This site allows you to define which actions you might want mapped to which key in a nice drag and drop interface. Super easy. So I jump in, I select Tata 68 as my keyboard and give it a name that I can remember for later when I download it. This left-hand side allows me to select which layer of functionality I want to edit. As I mentioned, by default, the Tata comes with two layers of functionality programmed, but you can add as many as you want. So I'm pretty content with the base level of functionality, all the arrow keys, all the letters, all the numbers, all that stuff. Now this, this little MO button with the number inside of it simply means that while this button is pressed, that layer becomes active on the keyboard, just like your typical FN key on a laptop. Since that's already set to activating the second layer, I'll leave that be and jump into editing the second layer. Now I want to match whatever my keycaps have displayed as secondary functions, so I'm just referencing those and finding the proper action keys in this area down below. If you're confused by what any of these mean, there's a helpful explanation guide that you can access right here. Once I map all the secondary actions that are displayed on my keycaps, I want to add a couple additional actions that might help my productivity. I've added a power off button, open internet button, refresh browser button, open calculator button, and open file explorer button, uh, just because it's kind of cool. Now that I'm happy with my layout and the layers of functionality, I'm going to render it and wait for it to complete. And now I'm hungry. Once it's done rendering, I can just simply download the edited bin file. Now, all I need to do is replace the existing bin file on my Tata 68 with the one I just created. To do this, plug the keyboard into your computer, flip it over and press the button at the bottom of the keyboard until these little white LEDs begin pulsing. Because of this, the keyboard is now recognized by my computer as a drive, and opening that drive reveals the existing bin file. I'm going to save this as a backup and then drop in our updated bin file. Once that file has been replaced, simply press the escape key and the new file should be loaded up. And with that, the secondary function keys are now aligning with what my keycaps say they should be doing.
Hopefully you found this video helpful if you're also looking to reprogram your Tata 68 keyboard in 2020. All links and websites I've referenced can be found in the description. If you enjoyed it, awesome. If not, maybe you'll like this cool picture of something random instead. That's it. Thanks for watching.